Do you think Dyson spheres are scientifically possible to build even if a civilization develops immensely? So def- there is definitely uh, nothing in the laws of physics that would prevent a sufficiently advanced civilization from bu- from building a Dyson sphere. So let me show you what a Dyson sphere is. This is a hypothetical artist's representation of a Dyson sphere. It is a sphere that envelops an entire st- star it is a monumental piece of of engineering it is a sphere that envelops an entire star this thing will close around the star and it will be basically basically be able to harness the entire energy output of that star so that's what a dyson sphere is this is a hypothetical representation this is another hypothetical representation of a dyson swarm kind of uh, structure being constructed around a star so the the objective of such a hypothetical structure is to harness the total energy output of a star so you would need to be a very advanced civilization to be even able to think of constructing something like that so it's a very uh, you would need to be a very advanced civilization there is nothing against the laws of nature against the law in the laws of physics that says we can't build it but can a civilization reach that uh, level of advancement well we are nowhere near it we are not nowhere near near even being able to harness the total energy of our own planet we can't control the weather and there are so many things that we have no control over we are trying to do it we are doing a very bad job of it right now but uh, so we are very far from it is it possible theoretically certainly so there was this uh, thing in the news uh, a star that was that was uh, exhibiting very erratic patterns of dimming and brightening it's called Tabby's star, Tabby's star. Uh, I don't have it here open somewhere, but uh, look it up. It's called Tabby's star. It's a star which, which is about a few hundred light years from the Earth, and it has this pattern or non-pattern of erratically brightening and dimming. The dimming affects uh, about twenty-seven percent of the light output of the star. So that that is very considerable dimming. And as of today, we have no nat- we have no uh, proper explanation of what could be the process that is causing this erratic dimming and brightening up of the star so if there was some large planet or swarm of dust or swarm of comets orbiting the star then we would, this dimming and brightening would be periodic it would be periodic and we, we we would be able to predict it but in this in the case of the star it is not predictable at all uh, in 2017 or 18 it uh, this this these events were very r- Uh, the, the brightening and dimming was very marked very noticeable right now it's not there much at all so it is a very erratic pattern and some people have hypothesized that somebody is building a dyson sphere or dyson swarm or dyson ring around this particular star and that possibility has not yet been ruled out because there is no well accepted uh, natural explanation of what's going on in that star so that could be a possible candidate possible candidate there's a small chance it could be something like another another civilization creating uh, constructing something some, something around the star we don't have proof it's a hypothetical possibility but it is a certainly a possibility that is being considered so that's the deal it could be possible but we have never observed any real evidence this is possible tentative uh, perhaps evidence that perhaps something like that may be going on but perhaps there is a nat- natural explanation too that we are still not able to figure out so yes it is a possibility but it is uh, it is not anywhere uh, near, possi- near 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 to possible for us because we are still so underdeveloped technologically as a species but theoretically yes definitely possible